Hello and welcome to Panthe the Geeks. You join us for another unboxing. This week we have Skull Grinder and the Slaughter Priest, which Claire will be getting hold of. <laughs> uh, but here they are. There's the Slaughter Priest, one of my personal favourite models. Quite like that. At least the picture of it. We'll see what the model's like when it's made. There are the sprues for that. And we have the Skull Grinder. There he is, wielding a anvil of all things, which is pretty awesome actually. Mm. But uh, we'll see what he's like when we put him together and see which one we like the best when we actually get to see them. So we're going to start with... Slot things. The Skull Grinder. Oh. Now we'll start with the Skull Grinder. <laughs> Claire gets to choose the hair model. Okay, so um, as the hair model, she also gets to open it. There you go. Really? And play with the knife. Really? So I'm, I'm just going to cut the video until Claire has opened that. Okay, so we got to go open. Yep. There's one base. Sprue. Sprue. Yeah. Back. So there is the sprue. It's quite a cool axe as well, isn't it? To the side. He comes back to his body with this sort of like weird chainy spiny thing he's got on the back. That's cool. Okay, so much like last week, we just got two models. So let's look at the instructions. So one and two go together, which are the body parts. One and two, and then we have part uh, six and five, which are the legs. Part three, which is a little skull, which goes around his neck like a chain, and then part four, which is his head. And that should bring us to this stage. Let's get those parts out. Okay, so part one, which is that bit of the cool sort of chaining back with the spine there, and part two, which is the front with the loin off and the bare chest. Uh, those two go together. So that's pretty straightforward. A little bit of music there. Okay, so they got together, leaving that big gap either side. It's quite bulky actually. Um, and then we have the legs, which parts five and six. So that's part six. And part five. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Okay. Sorry. It's alright. That was part five, which stood on a bunch of skulls. No shocks there. So they'll likely go on pretty easy, he says. Yeah, that was pretty simple. Um, and then the one goes on the other side. So you're left with uh, them in this position. A wide stance he's got, and that appears to attach to the base. I'm going to do now before I stick the rest of the, the head and stuff on. So I'm just going to put it onto the base, and then I'm going to let that dry. So we'll back with you once it's dried and stuff. Okay, so there we are, attached to the base. So we've got the little skull thing, which goes around his neck. There it is, quite small, quite fiddly. And then we'll have the head, which goes on, which is. There, if the camera will focus on it. There we go. I think that's quite cool, actually. I just do. <laughs> Again, I think I said last week I've been playing Mad Max. Yeah. And he just reminds me of like one of the bosses or something from that because he's quite yes. large. Yeah. And he's got this massive two-handed axe. I think that's probably why I like him. It's just it's just come at the right time. We think that's pretty cool and pretty different. So um, 
I'm going to stick these other two bits on and I'll be back with you. Okay, so there we go. Pretty easy to put on. There's two little clasps on his chest for the skull. The head goes into the little slot on it. Very easy. It's just, oh, just I think it's look awesome already. I just do. Alright, stop laughing at me. I'm not laughing at you, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just impressed by this model. Yeah, it is. Okay, so next is 9, 7 and 8. Which are both arms and the massive axe he's got. Yep. And then, we'll move on part 10, which is just the skull that's hanging there. Is there anything else? No, that's it. That's and that. that'll be it. Yep. So, we may as well just put the whole thing together now, from this point. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you know if there's any problems with the arms or anything. Because this part's just sticking the skull on the back. So, uh and that bit looks like it goes on there so I don't see any problems with that and that brings us to the end so let me stick this bits together and I'll be back with you if there's any and there we have it really easy to put together although well, that might still be hanging off a little bit because I'll just glue it on there's a little slot just for it like I said that's brilliant the arms went on easily um, which made putting the axe on really easy the little bubble on that side of the axe at the top underneath the wrist and that just puts it in place and one of the easiest assemblies from a very cool model I've, I've done in a while really mm. very cool. it, look, it looks really awesome and I really like it I, I just I do uh, it's more like even like the tusk he's got on his back and yeah. all that. it's just corn, cornate enough to be cornate and it's because he's got the symbols and he's got the axe and everything mm. but just different enough just to be different mm. He is actually. Yeah, he's quite like dynamic it. as well. The way he's striding forward and shouting. Said, yeah, he's he's a spit for one of the bosses from Mad Max. You know, you know? that's cool. So let's move on to the skull grinder. We'll see this guy again at the end. Here it is, skull grinder. So um, again, it's a closed model, so Claire can open it. So we're we'll back. And she's managed to uh, not injure herself. Okay, it's the base. Here is the sprue. There we go. So you can see the anvil does look pretty cool. Got both sides of the anvil there. Got quite a lot more armour on this guy. I think he's a bit shorter as well. He's stock. He's a bit more stocky. Mm. Okay. Well, well, we'll know when he's put together. He's got a far more traditional sort of corn helmet. There. Still, right. looks, still looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's a bit like a berserker, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. This is what we see a lot from. And corn. Um, so let's get this one together. So I'll give you the sprue. So we'll cut the uh, instructions. It starts with parts one, three, and two, which is the head, uh, the leg, and this side of the body with the leg on, which is a bit weird looking. Mm. It looks like you have to put the head in place first because it seems it's got one of these little rim type things. We'll find out. Once all those bits are off, then we'll go on to this stage where the front part of the body goes on by the looks of it. Or at least part of it. Yeah, it looks like it's in two stages. So we'll get these bits off and then we will be back. Okay, so here is the body with the leg, which is part one. I'll do part two next. There we go, which is this leg. It goes on a bit, it looks a bit weird when you put it on. So it's got to go on like that. So the fitting looks a bit odd, but it does fit into place quite easily. So we'll glue that on there. And then the head has this attachment here, which slides into there. So it just go underneath. Come on. Like that. So it does go underneath. So you do have to put this a bit on first. So I'm going to glue those bits on and I'll be back with you. Okay, so there we go glued together. And so next is part four, which is this bit here, which goes on where the yellow parts are indicated on here, if you can see them. But there's these little indentations, this big one here, the one on the knee, and the one just behind it on this side, all correspond to the underside of this, if you can see out there. So hopefully, put a little bit of glue on each of those bits. And that should just go on there, which it does. Quite happily. There we go. So next is part five, which is this bit here. There's a lot going on in this bit because we've got the hammer hanging down. And we've got this chain coming out, and then all this MacGuffin going at the back, which has got to fit onto this. 
So that just appears to go on. So first I tried it like that, so the collar meets at both sides. So I'm going to glue that bit on, and I'll be back with you. So there we go. So you can see he's like twisting around. So we've got two areas left for the for the arms to go on there. So we've got part seven, mm -hmm. which is this back arm, and we've got part six, which is this whole part here and part nine which is the uh, the side of this anvil type thing he's wielding around brazen anvil I think it was called was it brass anvil I can't remember brazen I think I think you were right the first time yeah brazen anvil and uh, so that's going to go on one side that's going to go on the other hopefully the two meet as easily as the other guy's weapon did but I'll stick it together and I'll be back with you to let you know if it wasn't. Okay, so there we go. Again, that was pretty straightforward. Both these models have been pretty straightforward to put together, really. One last bit on this guy, if you turn over, is part 8. Which is the shoulder, which will just cover this gap, which is still existing on this model. And uh, that just goes there. So I'll just stick that on. Okay, so there we go, base is on. And that, that shoulder just goes into the little slot that's left there, quite easily. No problems at all. So let's have one final look at these two models. And there we go, both of them together. I'm going to say it looks like he's about to whack him. He did actually. <laughs> I don't think he'd be too happy with that. I don't think he would. Yeah. So what do you think? I think they're absolutely awesome models. They're really, really nice. Yeah, I think they're both amazing. I thought this one was always going to be amazing from the moment I saw the picture. Mm. I'm really impressed with it. That's not changed. This one's better in person than the picture gave credit for as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Just there's more going on on it than it looks like initially. Uh, from a design point of view, though, um, it's cool we've got this anvil. Mm. It's, it's very what we expect to see. Mm. I think the helmet really does that. It gives it this really sort of like it's core. Which is really cool because it keeps the aesthetic going. Nothing new in that respect, but the other parts of the model are very new, like the anvil, like I said. The, he's quite stocky built, this guy, so he's a different sort of shape. Yeah. And I like that. A lot of the models are very different shaped, they're very natural because you don't get people that are all the same height. Yeah, you don't get one generic. Which is what we've had for a long time, cult. really. Yeah. We have like a generic height for each race. This is. I've noticed with the other models as well, they're all slightly different heights. I like that, and especially in these two together, you can see he's a lot, lot stockier. Oh, he's a lot more he's squat. A lot, he's a lot taller. He's elongated. Yeah. Like you said, I think you said you looked a bit like Dal Sim. Yeah, he's going to be called Dal Sim. When you saw the picture of him. Yeah. But, uh, he's like Dal Sim in full armor with a huge double-handed weapon. Yeah. A bit more muscle. Mm. And sort of like a, got spine, a serious blood spinal blast. issue going on. <laughs> and horns around his neck. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, this is still my favourite of the two models, but this one is a lot better than I, I thought it was. Mm -hmm. I was like, meh, good, but now it's like, yeah, it is a very good model. I like it. And this one, I just think, is awesome. That's obviously my personal opinion, yeah. but that's that. I think that one's really cool. Yeah, the other one reminds me very much of the um, Warmongers. Yeah. Is it Warmongers? And um, that other guy, yeah. the character guy. I can't think of his name. Scarface somebody or other, is it? Scarface. Oh, is it Scarface? I can't think of his name now. I'll get you to put his name up and picture up any year. Alright, okay, fair enough. I'll show if, you if who I remember, I, yeah. yeah, I'll show you I'll who I'll show you who I mean. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. This guy also reminds me of the driver of the Moomac. From Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. But bigger, by a lot. Do you know what I mean? Games Workshop, that's what we need. A cornate Moomac. <laughs> well, do, there was the Mammoth. If not, if it's still, Ford Road still does the Mammoth. Oh yeah, huge Moomak. Yeah. Cornet. Really <laughs> annoyed Moomak. There you go. There we go. Claire, that's what Claire's requested. Yeah. I request anything of Sedinj. Perhaps a floating city would be nice. Perhaps a floating Moomak? <laughs> floating Moomak. Or a cloud of its own whiff. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. I don't know what would make a Moomak float. <laughs> to be fair. If it's smoking something. Well, not well, stoned me, man. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't think it'd be much of a threat, though. Yeah. On the floor it goes. Anyway, getting back to the models. Oh, getting back to the models, yeah. There you go. There we go. So, 
I like this week's uh, yeah. models. Well impressed. Well impressed. And I think Claire is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing we didn't really manage to get hold of was the corn um, book, the battle team. Yeah, we don't know anyone who's got that this week. No. So uh, we weren't able to review that. Yeah. Um, but um, if we can get hold of that in the future, we'll do a review in the future for it. But we'll just have to wait and see if anyone we know gets hold of it. Or yeah. Or Claire gets to decide right. she wants to buy it. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see on that one. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other stuff coming up. Obviously, we've got more models next week. Stay tuned for some more Games Workshop stuff next week, mm -hmm. we hope. And um, Malifaux Monday Malifaux is coming Monday's up. coming up. So uh, keep an eye on that. Other than that, we're slowly getting towards uh, Halloween. Um, slowly getting towards Halloween, so keep an eye out for some Halloween specials we're doing. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you again soon. So mm -hmm. please like and subscribe mm -hmm. if you're not already. It helps out loads. If you are subscribed, we love you back. <laughs> and um, hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.